Welcome to a tutorial on how to create the Gaussian blur effect, how to apply that to a clip, and then how to execute all of that in one go using a hotkey. This video is going to be very similar to my pop effect and slide transitions. Um, so if you want to go and watch them as well as this one, uh, I I'd totally recommend that. So first of all, what the blur effect really does is we have this footage here and it just kind of pops in but imagine I'm using this frog as a supporting image we can drag this Gaussian blur effect over onto this frog and it fades like that so I can have other stuff on top of that it's a nice gradual fade so in order to do this what you want to do is you want to go up to your effects search bar and type in Gaussian and you'll see Gaussian blur down here and you just want to drag this onto uh, just this uh, second cut here so this was a whole five second long clip and I want it to be cut roughly halfway so we're gonna apply it to this second clip and uh, over in the uh, effects panel here which I've got on my leftmost monitor you can basically control how this Gaussian blur effect will work so we'll go ahead and toggle the keyframe there uh, so what the keyframe does is it just lodges that this amount of blurriness should be at this point in time So now if we come out and we say maybe here and we set uh, another keyframe and we turn this up to say 25 There you go uh, Now obviously this is going to achieve the effect gradual blur um, the one that I've created is a little faster than this uh, but if you want a really clean transition, you can basically select these two and right click and just go ease in. And what that will do is just make the transition a little bit smoother by just thinning off the edges of the keyframes. So that's how to create the effect. Once you're done here, you want to right click on this Gaussian blur effect and click save preset. Now you can save it under whatever you want to name it, set a description. I normally have mine set to scale, uh, but you can also do anchor to in point or anchor to out point. I'll have a video on all of these options coming soon. Uh, and once you've done that, you should have a lovely handy dandy uh, Gaussian blur effect little here. And, and that's a preset, so that means that instead of having to redo all of the work that you've just done, uh, you can instantly apply it. So in order to apply this with a hotkey, uh, you need to have a bit of background knowledge on auto hotkey and how it works. Um, so I've got this, this is my AHK script. Uh, at the top here, I've just got common modifier keys. They're really useful to have. I would definitely recommend uh, you having them at the top of your script. And uh, basically this is the code, numpad2, this is it. So I've got mine bound to numpad2. Uh, keep in mind, this is just a testing uh, script. I'm gonna improve this in the few coming weeks and I'll probably have the video on that coming out soon as well. Um, so just like the code for the pop effect or applying my default color correction preset uh, Basically, all you're doing is you're blocking the sending of uh, mouse input and you're setting the key delay to zero uh, You are storing the current mouse position under XPOS and YPOS You're moving the mouse to uh, where this little icon is here You're getting it to click input Gaussian uh, Move it over on top of this uh, Gaussian blur effect and then drag it onto where the XPOS and YPOS was. Um, keeping in mind that uh, the original code calls uh, for, instead of using DLL call, it uses mouse move. I couldn't properly use mouse move because of a couple of issues with my monitor setup. I've covered that in a previous video, um, but yeah, DLL call works really well for me. How I got these XPOS and YPOS values is using a, uh, an inbuilt application in AutoHotKey called WindowSpy. Uh, essentially, this allows me to get the current position of my, uh, of my mouse. So if you see, the absolute position is uh, 72171, uh, and that's what I use with DLL Call. And once you've done that, um, basically you're gonna get it to drag on top of that clip, and then you're gonna re-enable your input, and uh, then you'll be able to apply the Gaussian Blur preset onto any clip that you decide at any given time. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope it helped. Uh, I'll have a more in-depth video on how I use hotkeys in Premiere and all the different combinations of keys I use coming 
probably in the future. I've got a couple of projects lined up now, uh, the biggest of which is going to be an analysis on editing in the 80s. So if you're pumped for that and you're excited for that, go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this uh, or Premiere related content or any other content that I decide to make. And I'll see you guys in the next video.